Now we're going to go and put our tape right down the side that's going to cover up this knot and it's also going to protect the strings from, from ripping and uh, give it that nice clean look. Because this particular book is missing its back over here and it's exposed, I'm going to use the thicker piece of the thicker roll of tape and what it's going to do is I'm going to put one piece and it's going to go down the length of the whole of the whole spine of the book and that'll give this part its cover and its, its protection. If it was just a normal book that was still in good shape down the side, I would just run thinner strips of tape, one down this side and one down this side. But the thicker piece of tape will accomplish the same thing. It will cover the strings on both sides and it will also give this part of the book a nice uh, protection. So let's go ahead and, and get a piece of tape. We're going to do the same thing that we did on top. We left it a little bit over the edge so we can stick it in. So when you measure your tape, so if I cut it, leave a little bit over the top and also the bottom as well. So if I cut it right about here, that should give me enough space on both edges. Actually, we don't need the knife. We can just rip this tape. Put the book on its side. Um, try to get right into the middle and also we want to cover up those strings that we, we made. And again, we have to make our snippets into the top so we can tuck it down, make, make it easier so we have our three sections. And we see over here on the side that we were able to cover up the holes that we made in the strings. Let's go ahead and cut the edges here. And we'll go ahead and tuck them in. Goes right over the previous one we made. Same thing here. Right over the previous one. And again, this one on the top, we're going to have to, again, this one on the top, we're going to have to tuck that in to the, in between the pages there.